Hi, my name is Dylan Breitenbach, and today I'll be sharing my journey to CASA with you. What drew me initially to the CASA designation is the opportunities that you get through this designation. You get access to global platforms with large resources and reaches where you can truly make a difference in any opportunity that you take on. Throughout this journey, I've learned quite a lot about myself because I did most of my studies part-time while doing articles. It taught me that I'm capable of a lot more than I originally thought I could do and that there's so many more hours in a day that I actually thought there were. My advice for other people that is also working towards the CASA designation would be to celebrate each and every milestone. This is a very long journey and it could get very tiresome. So once you get your degree, your CTA, your board exams and your article signed all, make sure to celebrate and throw a massive party for each milestone. My advice for Psyche trainees would be to create a structure for yourself to make sure that you stay on top of your academic and article program. And to remember that you have full access to a wealth of experience at the audit firms for this three year period and use it to the best of your advantage. Learn everything that you need to learn and be intentional with what you wanna learn during your article journey. My advice for someone transitioning from a training contract to a full-time position would be to trust in the knowledge that you've gained through articles. You are qualified and it's normal to get overwhelmed because it's a new role with a whole lot of new responsibilities. My study tips for accounting students would be, tip number one, follow me on LinkedIn because under the Accounting Warriors brand, I give out free notes for accounting, audit, tax, and management accounting students. My second tip would be to buy yourself some Omega-3, especially during exam season. It just helps you keep concentrated and keep stress levels low. And then the third tip is to keep a structured plan. Make sure you know what you need to get through, how long you have to get through it, and by when you need to get through it. As an aspiring CASA, I stay relevant with the current trends and changes in our industry by exposing myself to those changes. Like AI or tax laws changes, I make sure that I'm at every webinar or any event that I'm able to attend to to make sure I know how these changes are going to impact my role and how I can use these changes to improve my current role. I make a difference in the CASA journey through my LinkedIn page because I share tips and tricks for all aspiring CAs on the academic programs. It's under the Accounting Warriors brand and it's totally free for anyone with a LinkedIn account. My name's Dylan Breitenbach, aspiring CASA, and I'm the story behind the numbers. Bye-bye. Oh, and before I forget, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and visit us on the Psycho Youth Hub. Okay, bye for real.